Guys, welcome back. How are you all today? Right, let me show you something. Doesn't look good, does it? That is the hunchback. That is what we want to avoid. That hunchback will be caused by strong chest muscles, strong quads. Basically, all the muscles at the front of your body are stronger than your muscles at your back of your body. So we want to turn this into this. So you want to hit this routine at least once a week, target all these muscle groups, because when you're hammering away at your chest and your bench presses and your overhead flies and your overhead presses and your squats, you tend to forget about these muscles in the back of your, your rear delts, your hamstrings, your glutes. If they weaken, then you're gonna be rolled over. It looks really bad. So let's turn your posture from this, maybe a bit over-exaggerating, but from this to this. Let's get into it. So you can even go to the chiropractor and pay 60 pound an hour, or you can watch this video for free. And it doesn't cost you anything. All you've got to do is like, comment, subscribe, share, and it doesn't cost you a penny. And you'll get better results from this video than you will do from a chiropractor. Now, I'm not trying to say chiropractors are bad. I'm just trying to say this video is better. Right, first exercise, guys. Stiff leg deadlift. You're going to be hitting about 12 reps of these. Three sets, 12 reps. This will hit your whole posterior chain. Brilliant exercise. Watch for technique. So don't slam the weights down like you do with a traditional deadlift. Keep your feet together. Hey, don't slam the weight down. Keep the weight off the floor. Push your hips out, head forward, back straight. 12 of these. This will really focus on your hamstrings. Lower back, upper back, rear delt. Feet together. Close to the shoulder width apart. Control the weight. And as you come up, push your hips out. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. That will increase your posture, your whole posterior chain. There you are. One. Don't slam that weight down. Don't need to go heavy. Squeeze those muscles. Muscle one connection. Push your hips out. There. Down, stretch your hammies. Hips out. Stretch those hammies, hips out. Stretch those hammies, hips out. You can do these with dumbbells or barbell. I prefer barbell. But yeah, try the dumbbells, whatever works for you. Dumbbells just in front, legs straight. Doosh. 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 Arse out, hips. Arse, push. Push your hips out. Squeeze those hammies. No more hunchback. Now what you don't want to do, you don't want to roll your back forward. You don't want to roll your, roll your back over that. The minute you're hunching your back, is that's, that's game over. The exercise is not going to be done correctly. You're going to hurt yourself. So I'll show you a, a rolling back like that. Very bad. Very bad. Keep your back straight and flat. Ass out. Stick your ass out. Keep your back flat there. Straight. Push those hips. The minute you roll your back over, it's game over, mate, okay? So. Like that. That is poor. That is poor technique. Don't do that. Okay? Look. Bad. Bad. Slamming it down. No. Nice grip. Shoulder width apart. There you are. Bend of the legs. Back straight. Stretch those hammies. Whoosh. Hips out. Stretch those hammies. Hips out. Right, the next exercise, exercise number two, will be you want to hit your rear delt. So these are going to be, these are rear delt flies. So again, 12 reps, grab a bench, keep your head flat on the bench, like that. Bend your knees. Again, this is going to help your posterior chain after your first exercise. Keep targeting your rear delt. You've got three heads to your delt. Front, side and rear. This will be hitting your rear delts. Dumbbells, head on the bench. Squeeze your blades together, 12 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now the reason you want to keep your head on the bench is to avoid swinging the momentum like this. If you start swinging momentum like that, it's just poor. No good, so keep your head planted, bum out. There you are, stop the momentum. 
So the next time you do your shoulder exercises, even start off with your rear delts first as well. That's a tip for you. Because a lot of people in your shoulder exercises, you're hammering away at your front delts and the rear delts get missed out. So hit them first. And your rear delts will really help pull your shoulders back. Nice posture, stand up tall, shoulders back. Keep your shoulder blades together rather than uh, hunching forward. That's what you don't want. Do a heavy set, then a drop set. <coughs> You really want to keep these muscles in prime condition for good posture. If you're getting back or shoulder pain, back pain, neck pain, shoulder pain, it could be because your posture is all off. These are going to really help you keep keep upright, pull your shoulder blades back. Probably the best exercise there is out there to help improve your posture. So guys, try them out. <coughs> Watch the technique. <coughs> Lots of reps. <coughs> Five of those rear delts. <coughs> <coughs> No momentum. Ooh. 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 So just another variation of a rear delt exercise where you use cables. So cross your hands over like this. So right hand over to left, left hand over to right. Lightweight, 12 reps, and just bring them out together like that, targeting your rear delt. So crossing my arms over, come back away from the cables, chest out, shoulder blades together. There you are, 12 of these. Two. Three, four. Three, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, shoulder blades together, chest out, squeeze them. Just give you a shot from behind so you can see all the muscles working. Twelve reps again. Three. Really squeeze those rear delts. So hold it for a split second or a second. Hold it there. In, hold it. Oh, back your shoulders should be feeling pumped. Now the third exercise, we're gonna get a bench, put a slight incline to it, grab two dumbbells, or you can use a barbell, I'll show you both. And then you're gonna lay flat on it and bring the weight up to your chest, okay? Dumbbells is better because you get more range of motion with your dumbbells. So try them with your dumbbells. And then, or your barbell, whatever you're comfortable with, but it will still hit all those posterior chain muscles, your rear delt, squeeze your shoulder blades together, activate the glutes and the hamstrings and your calves. So this will really finish off that posterior chain routine I've talked you through. And now my shoulder, my sh rear delts are really pumped at the minute. Hamstrings have got a nice pump to them. I'm feeling strong, I'm standing up tall. So it's going good. So let's get into it. Chest out, shoulder blades together. And bring those weights up, squeeze them, ah. squeeze them, ah. squeeze them. Ah. Ah. You'll feel these in your rear delt, your glutes, your lats, your hamstring, your calves, your whole posterior chain will be on fire. And that is what you want. Promote the muscle growth, no hunchback. We want to eliminate the hunchback because it doesn't look good. Uh, uh, squeeze them together. Uh. Right, I'll show you with the barbell. Uh. Guys, remember to like and subscribe. Right, here's the barbell. Again, lay flat, head up. Yeah, chest out. Squeeze your shoulder blades up as you come up. Here. Here. Squeeze them, uh, squeeze them, uh, squeeze. So you want to hit this routine at least once a week, target all these muscle groups, because when you're hammering away at your chest and your bench presses and your overhead flies and your overhead presses and your squats, you tend to forget about these muscles in the back of your, your rear delts, your hamstrings, your glutes. If they weaken, then you're going to be rolled over. It looks really bad, so hit these once a week this whole routine follow it through keep it save it like it share it like i said 
you can go visit a chiropractor or you can watch this for free. Your choice. Knees into your workout once a week and your neck pain, your back pain, it all disappear if your posture is bad. Thanks for watching.